is his bike. Actually, he's got a little branch. Howdy everyone, good morning and welcome to Texas. Today we're finally at deer camp. Uh, we're definitely in Texas, but it's practically Oklahoma where we're sitting. It's been kind of a slow morning, getting a little late start, but that hasn't slowed down the amount of deer movement and animal movement we've seen. Almost ran over a pig on the way in, and we've already had a spike at 200, another doe at 400. So we're just keeping our eyes peeled. Goal here is to get Gina her second deer ever, maybe possibly her first pup. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're in the deer blind this morning just trying to get meat on the ground and bow hunting adventures and everything else will continue after we get that done. We are absolutely covered up in deer. Where were we? He's, he's at the edge of that dark, right following that dark line. He's right at the edge going that way. A little closer. I did. I did. Oh, yeah. right now. He's, there's a little dark patch. Yeah. And he's in it. I'm tracking. Yeah, guys, we are absolutely covered up in deer. We, we had some communication issues with the, the ranch manager trying to double check any bucks we might be able to shoot. But they're moving, they're out and about, and we're going to get a doe down this morning. I'm trying to get all these deer on camera, but moving two people in, two people in chairs plus a camera tripod around is kind of a pain. But we're going to get it done.
Okay. Y'all, so... It's hard not to laugh because Jean is behind the camera now and I don't know what to do with myself, but we're in a new spot for this afternoon. This morning, there were an absolute ton of deer. Um, we just couldn't quite get anything to connect. We had some communication issues with the ranch manager trying to double check which deer we wanted to shoot and some bucks and we had to end up letting some bucks walk, which is fine. Like we want to follow the rules. We just, it was just unclear what was going on. So, uh, and the does that were getting in close, we were just in the middle of that communication issue with the ranch manager and they would not stop moving. So I didn't want to make noise and potentially miss out on an opportunity for a buck. It's fine. There's a ton of does out here. Uh, this spot right here, we're waiting for them to come out of this tall grass wetland area to a feeder that's about a hundred yards away. Um, but since we got that hard rain la last night, we can see fresh tracks all through here from this morning. So they, they should definitely be coming back in the evening. And yeah, I think I'm going to try and make Gina smoke one. Um, she told me that she wanted me to shoot it first, but the gun's on her side of the blind. So we'll see what happens.
teacher, but he's not old. I want him to pick his head up.
doesn't know what to do about this. I'm kind of sad because that was his lady friend. No, he, he was dogging her. He was pissing her off. Like, he wants her, but she didn't really want him that bad yet. He's like, he wants a chance. Well. Make a picture of him and send it to Meg. I... How much time do we have left for the way? Twelve minutes. Like, if I would put him at four and a half. Like, his face just doesn't look old enough, but he's got a bit of a gut to him. Look at her jump like that. Meat's on the ground. Uh, I was trying to catch the sunset. Yeah. I did catch one right across. Oh my gosh. They never texted back, but that's okay. That's fine. We got meat on the ground. Ooh, he is still up there. Can you? Let's see, really? Where is he? Um, oh, right there. He gone. I mean, we can still see him, but he's definitely leaving. Oh, dude, that looks cool. Yeah. 
Oh no, look. Nice. I like it. Okay, well, we're gonna go get those two does now. Um, I wanted Gina to shoot one, but it was just starting to get dark. She was she kept moving around. The doe kept moving around, and just she just Gina just didn't feel stable. So I uh, nailed that first one. That buck just kept dogging her. And she kept moving. And okay, no, cool, we're good. We still tried to send a picture off to see if that buck was allowed. Uh, the the manager we were texting like just hadn't got back to us. I know he's in the woods hunting right now too, so not a big deal. And then all of a sudden, all these does were piling out of everywhere. We saw one little doe skyline coming from the right. Two more came from the left. So just uh, okay, try to drop that second one, get that meat on the ground. Now we're home free. We got what we're here for, and we can focus on bucks, bows, and trout, and maybe some ducks. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's go check them out, guys. All right, what else have we got? That one looks kind of little, but still not that baby one we saw this morning. Now, so they are like five years. No, yeah, she's just huh? Sounds good, still dark, but she was kind of a weird shot. Yeah. Well, I think that was the exit. Oh. I think she was still facing me a little bit. Dropped her though. That's two good looking does right there. You're taking a nap. I don't know if it's one of those. He, he got a glimpse of him. Not long, and he wasn't consistent. Yeah. Good job. You gotta spread some good genetics in there. There's the aftermath. Got him in here. So that was action packed. Um, didn't bring you along for all the skinning and getting really. I mean, I would totally do that, but there were just a bunch of people at the skating shed. Just would have been weird to be talking loud over them with the camera, at least to me, because I don't like doing that. Uh, this is a very solo activity for me most of the time. But dude, a lot of fun. I at least got some meat on the ground. It's not uh, not how I wanted my first kills of the season to go, but we needed meat in the freezer. Wife said shoot those deer, so I obliged. Uh, on top of that, finally broke in this gun. Um, I mean, I've I got it last. I've had it for over a year. Definitely shot it and sighted it in, but that was the first blood with the Ruger American in 6.5 Creedmoor, and I have to say, he did fantastic. So, uh, dropped those does within five, five yards or so of each other, and uh, just devastating. That 6.5 Creedmoor is uh, pretty sweet. Gonna be back at it tomorrow. Not totally sure what kind of hunting I'm gonna do. Still trying to get that figured out tonight. Um, but, yeah hopefully get something with the bow in the morning get gina something tomorrow as well and uh sunday we can maybe go do some trout fishing up in oklahoma's We're practically there anyway so but i get to play with the new fly rod i think it'll be a ton of fun can't wait to bring you guys along uh thanks for thanks for watching just this is fun to do i'm really happy to have y'all glad to document my season so remember, get out there, shoot your bows, shoot your guns, uh, read your Bible, as I always say, and uh, take pictures of stuff. I'm really bad at that. Take pictures of things and save them somewhere. Not to where, like, if you lose your phone, you're going to have a problem. But take pictures and save them somewhere. 
Remember y'all, get out there, kill it and eat. I'll see y'all next time.